Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. So with the 16th pick in the 2021 draft, the Cardinals selected linebacker Xavier Collins, who, which I think surprised some people. Now, I personally had Collins as my third favorite linebacker. He ended up going second here, so it's not like he was. it was that crazy. But a lot of people were saying, well, what about Jeremiah Awusakoramora? Uh, in, in fact, uh, there would even be another linebacker taken before JLK gets selected. But the reality is, I think a lot of people feel like Collins is still a very good player, and he showed up, even though, you know, JLK, I feel like, is getting all of the credit. Uh, Xavier Collins was just as impressive, if not more impressive. He's the, a guy who, despite his huge uh, body, uh, you know, he's just a huge man, he can still move incredibly well. And so let's watch some film and talk about what he does just so effectively. So right here, we'll start things off with this play. So what's going to happen is that it's actually going to end up being the right tackle who's going to try and go up to the second level and block Collins. But what Collins does, again, what he's so great at is the fact that he has this just tremendous ability to move at a big weight. He ran a 4.67 40-yard dash, which admittedly isn't like eye-popping, but it's very good when you factor in the fact that he's uh, 6'4", 260 pounds. So he's huge and can still move very well. This play is a great example of that, where the tackle is going to try to get, get up to the second level, but watch how Collins is going to basically beat him to the point. I mean, look, as you see, right when this play starts, the tackle's trying to get over and block Collins, but he just can't get there in time. So the reality is, this is already difficult enough trying to block a 260-pound linebacker. It's going to be way more difficult when he can basically get to a spot where you can't really get hand placement that you want. All you can kind of do is try to push him aside a little bit, but that's not going to be very easy because, again, he's 260 pounds. He's a mammoth of a human. And watch how, he, because he shot that gap, it's going to run over and make the tackle as well. You know, that was a good tackle as well. Not only does he get to his spots and is he difficult to block, but he's a good tackler. So something like that. Uh, is very, very impressive. You have something like this as well, where the fullback is going to try to get up to the second level to block him, but that's just difficult to do, quite frankly. It's hard uh, to have a fullback run over and block Collins. Now, it's not as difficult when you have a fullback blocking some other linebackers, but Collins is not some other linebackers. He's Xavier Collins, and watch what's going to happen. So look, right when this play starts, you see that this you know uh, showdown is about to happen. It's right at the line of scrimmage, and watch who's going to win this battle. Collins blows by him and still helps make that tackle. Now it ends up getting pushed forward enough to get the first down. I don't really blame Collins too much for that. Uh, it looked like you know 71 right there for Dallas was able to uh, help that play out and just push the pile over. To me, that's a very good play by Collins. You know, run defense is a team effort. And he's just going to be a difficult guy to block. And it's like, what do you do? Do you put an offensive lineman on him constantly? You can't do that. I mean, you have to, at some point, have tight ends or have, you know, other guys, fullbacks, be the ones who are blocking him. And that's a, you know, good thing for Collins. That's a mismatch basically every time, unless it's a super great blocking tight end. And something like this was great as well, where it's a fourth down and three, and Collins is going to drop back into coverage on this play. That is his role. And I think the main reason why JOK and Micah Parsons were considered so much uh, better prospects than Xavier Collins is because of the splash plays they make. They'll get sacks, they'll get forced fumbles, they'll get interceptions, that kind of stuff. They're more exciting to watch. They are. You know, it's not as exciting watching someone do a good job in the running game. It's way more exciting seeing a, a blitz for a sack or an interception or something like that. But it's not like Collins doesn't have that in his game, and he showed it off in this preseason game against the Dallas Cowboys. Like, look, so he just drops back in the coverage. Very simple. That's what he's supposed to do. And you even see there was a Dallas receiver who could have been open right there. So if the throw went in that direction, uh, this could have been, you know, bad news for Arizona. Although not really because the ball did not get cleanly to the quarterback anyway. So that was another aspect. He's now quickly trying to scramble and pick it up. But... This play is not over because if he does pick it up, he can potentially run with it or he can still throw it. So what is he going to do? Well, watch Collins on this play and admittedly, he is going to go off screen for a second, but watch him come right back. Look, right when he gets back on screen, he reads this and runs over and delivers a hit. 
and the ball ends up getting knocked away there. That could have been an interception, not that, you know, it was better for the Cardinals that it wasn't intercepted in terms of the game. Uh, but a good read by Collins of once you, you know, realize that, hey, someone has to get over to cover the quarterback, he got there in an instant and hurried the quarterback, so he had to make a quick throw. So that was a really good play by Xavier Collins right there. Of when you're in that middle area of the field, you don't have to just sit there. You know, if no one else is over the middle of the field, well, then rush the quarterback or find someone else to cover, do something. And that is what Collins did. So really good stuff there. And there was also something like this. It's a little bit more difficult to measure someone's coverage ability just because it's only broadcast footage. We don't get to see far down the field. But regardless, Collins is covering that area of the field. And you see that there's three receivers, uh, technically four eligible receivers lined up to the quarterback's right, one of which being a halfback. So for Collins, you know, thinking about this logically, this is cover three, right? So if all three of them run routes, well, who's going to cover the closest one towards the bottom of the screen? You know, who's going to cover the currently right now, the number three receiver, which is the third uh, furthest away from the sideline, the guy who's running the deep route over the middle, who can cover that guy until the safety can get there? Well, if Collins just stays where he's at, nobody. But that's not what you do in zone coverage. You have to understand your assignment and you want to cover the guys. That's the goal. It's not to make sure no one is in your zone. It's to make sure nobody is open. So watch how right when this play starts. Just a good pickup right away. These are the things that are notoriously difficult for rookie uh, linebackers to read. You know, this is something Isaiah Simmons struggled with right when he entered the league is just this kind of stuff. And in fact, a lot of uh, you know, young linebackers can struggle with picking this kind of stuff up. Well, Collins seemingly has got it down already. Again, small sample size, who knows, but it this looks good. So yeah, while it was just one preseason game, I do still kind of stand by, you know, even though JOK is the guy who's gotten all of these, all the attention, I think you can argue Collins was just as good. Uh, I really do. I think that those guys were both awesome in their first preseason game. Again, it is preseason. It'll be different when we have to see Collins, you know, go up against a team that can run play action very well. Like, how will he handle going up against the Sean McVay defense that can really pick on linebackers? It'll be interesting to see what Collins does there. But we can only see what we can see during the preseason. And what we've seen so far has been good. And what we saw in college was good. So I suspect during the regular season, it will be good. That just logically follows. So yeah, that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know what your thoughts are on Xavier Collins. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.